Hello and welcome from the team here at Sign. My name is Crystal and today I will be teaching you how to check in your visitors. There are three different methods for checking in a visitor with Sign. Number one, using the Sign dashboard on your computer. Number two, using SignPoint on your custom setup iPad. And number three, using your visitor's own personal mobile phone. We will start off today's demonstration using your Sign Pro dashboard. From your dashboard, click the check in button at the top of the dash. This will open the check in page. In order to check in your visitor, you need to fill in their first and last names, as well as your site name and the type of visitor they are. You then have the choice to fill in their mobile phone number or email. One of these will be used at sign out. Using their mobile number makes it easier to contact them. In addition, you can fill in their company name. This is a great way to be able to filter them at a later date through the activity feed. As our visitor is a contractor, the check-in form we set up in demonstration video 2, Forms, needs to be filled out. You can then press check in. You officially checked your first visitor in. But wait, there's more. Now that your visitor is checked in, you can click on their name and open up their contact page. From their contact page, there are several options. You can print a pass if you haven't already set up your pass to print automatically, as seen in demonstration video two. You can add a note to their profile. This is a great way to keep track of any keys, passes, or other items you give them. You can look through the answers they provided on their check-in form. As sign-in was done through the dashboard, no signature was recorded. If the visitor checks in via SignPoint or their mobile app, it would show here. Lastly, you can use their contact page to send them a message. Messages can be written text, with any notes or meeting places you might have, or you can use the message section to alert them to any warnings or emergencies that might be occurring. Don't forget to save your changes before exiting. You can also send a message directly from the dashboard. And finally, you can check your visitor out by clicking the check out button next to their profile. Once the checkout icon is clicked, any checkout forms for that visitor type that were created will appear. Your visitor has to answer them all before checking out. As checkout is commencing from the dashboard and under your control, you have the right to skip any questions. Congratulations, you've now checked in and checked out your first visitor via your SignPro dashboard. Checking in via SignPoint is a self-service check-in designed to allow your visitor to check themselves in without waiting for assistance and freeing up the time you spend on administration. From the SignPoint start page, your visitor presses check in. The next page shows us the three different options for sign in your visitor has. Fast Track Invite is for visitors who have been specifically invited by you using sign and been allotted a QR or Fast Track code. This will be explained in more detail in our next demonstration video. For first time users, the visitor presses the first time user button. The next page asks for your visitor's details. This is exactly the same as the dashboard and should be filled out the same way. Note that your sign point can be set up for international mobile numbers and, if so, mobile numbers must be entered with their international code. The visitor must enter in either their phone number or email in order for them to be able to check out. The next step in validating your visitor's identity is to take a photo. This step can be skipped, but it is a great way for hosts to be able to visually identify who they are meeting. In the next step, the visitor can pick who they are here to see, commonly referred to as hosts. And that's it! Your visitor is officially signed in. To check out, the visitor simply clicks the check out button. The next page asks for the email, mobile, or fast track ID the visitor used to sign in. The QR code can be scanned by the camera. Once the visitor has filled in their required information, they click next and SignPoint will check them out. Lastly, we have a quick check in option for returning visitors. Just like checkout, SignPoint asks for the email or mobile phone number used in the last check in. The system will then use this information to retrieve all check in info. Then the visitor just clicks who they are here to see and they are good to go. 
The final method for checking in is via the visitor's personal mobile phone. The SignPro app is available as a free download for both iOS and Android and can be found in the App Store or Google Play respectively. Once they have downloaded the app, they need to click on it to open. Sign up is free and using the app will cost your visitor nothing at all. To sign up, the visitor will need to enter their first and last name, email, mobile phone, company and a password. They can then take a photo using their phone's camera or they can upload one from the phone's photo gallery. This is a good idea as many companies require a photo ID on sign-in. The visitor can then validate their account via the five-digit PIN code that will be sent to their mobile number. The next step is check-in. Location services will need to be activated for this to work, as sign requires geolocation in order to know which companies are nearby the visitor. This is also why sign requires site address when setting up your company's sign account. Clicking on the company the visitor wishes to sign in with starts check-in. As with check-in on SignPoint and your dashboard, the visitor is required to fill in their visitor type and who they are here to see. They will also automatically receive any forms assigned to their visitor type. Checking out is done at the click of a button. Any checking out forms that you have set up will have to be completed by the visitor before they're allowed to check out. And that's it. You now know all three ways of checking in with Sign. If you have any further questions, please check out our help website, help.sign.co, or get in direct contact with one of our many staff members that are willing and waiting to help.